Zero Accounting Software 2023 credit card reconciliation for month number two and month number three. Get ready to become an accountant hero with Zero 2023. Here we are in our custom Zero homepage. Going into the company file we set up in a prior presentation, the bank feed file. We're gonna duplicate those tabs to put our favorite reports in. Right click in the tab up top to duplicate it. And then we'll right click the tab again and duplicate the duplication. Back to the tab to the middle, opening up the famous balance sheet report. Tabbing to the right, hitting the drop down, hitting the income statement report up for this one. And then we'll change our range on the income statement let's just do the whole year of 2022 on the income statement and then we'll change our range more specifically on the balance sheet so i'm going to go from jan uh 2022 to decem uh 2022 the 31st of it and update it and then to the balance sheet i'm going to now be reconciling for the period end of september so that's our next reconciliation date Let's actually, by the way, let's do it this way. Let's, let's, let's put three months next to each other. So I'm gonna do a custom date range to do that. And I'm gonna go to the uh, drop down and let's go to actually October, the end of October, and then use Zero's really cool uh, date edit layout field down here to, to bring in the prior two months as well. And to do that, I'm just gonna say, add a field up top and I want it to be a date field. And so on the date, I want to bring this one back to September. And so there it is. So September looks good. Let's add another one, another date field. And let's do it with a uh, date up top. And this one's going to be for uh, August, August. So now we've got the current October, September and August. Okay. And so let's update it and then we've got this super cool report that shows the credit card balances lined up for uh october september and august now last time we did a reconciliation for august the first bank reconciliation which is really the only one that causes problems oftentimes with a credit card because you might have that beginning balance issue that you have to deal with once we do that uh, then our balances are usually pretty uh, on target. So if I go into August, there's the uh, 522.71 and there's the balance 522.71. There is no difference because we don't have any outstanding uh, checks and deposits uh, because we constructed our books directly from the bank feeds. Let's actually open the bank reconciliation report now, right click it on the tab to the right duplicating it and then we'll go to the accounting drop down and into the reports and let's open up a bank reconciliation bank reconciliation rec bank rec and so we're now going to be doing this for the following month so let's first take a look at that month we'll say drop down Let's go to uh, the 2022, bring it back to August and the 31st. And then we're going to go to, let's actually do the 1st of August and then to the 31st, July, August, 2022, 31st. And then this is for the credit card. And the tricky thing here is you just got to make sure you put a negative for the credit card. So 52271, so negative negative 522.71 and there we have it we reconciled everything so we don't have anything uh outstanding at this point in time and so the two things match it should be the way it should go basically going forward let's do the same report i'm going to copy it right click and duplicate it for the month of september so i'm going to go and say now let's do august september uh first to september uh 30th and now i'm going to change the balance to be uh this is october september uh 717.22 so negative negative 717.22 
and update that report. So there we have it. And notice it should basically tie out pretty much automatically now because we don't have that same beginning balance problem. So this is the amount from the balance sheet. Here's the amount from the balance sheet. If I go back on over credit card 71722 and uh, we're gonna say September uh, 717.22 and uh, that's the amount on the books as well. So uh, everything ties out. Let's go to the first tab just to look at the bank reconciliation process. If I go to the accounting dropdown and we go into the bank accounts, then we could say, all right, let's go into the credit card and see what has happened. So the account transactions, this is what we have entered that is related to the credit card, but we constructed all these transactions directly from the credit card bank feeds, all except this beginning balance entry. Once we have this entry in, if everything else is being constructed directly from the bank feeds, everything should be uh, good to go. We should be basically reconciled. You can see the first tab over here, there is nothing more to reconcile. We've pulled everything